Take a look at this with the face only a mother could love. Have you ever seen these massive crabs? They're called mitten crabs, and they are not supposed to be here in Connecticut. They're invasive to our area. And as News 8 Zuri Hoffman explains, these crabs are growing in numbers. If you've been to the boat dock here in Stratford lately, chances are you've seen these signs warning of mitten crabs. I love the water. For those who come to the dock daily, there are a lot of questions about where these crabs are and the impact they could have. I'm not happy about that. <laughs> we took those questions to David Molnar with the Department of Energy and Environmental Protection. So they're really kind of cool. They're like large spiders. They will crawl right up you very quickly. These spider-like crabs got their name because of the fur on their claws that look like mittens. They can get big. We're talking nearly a foot wide. They're also known to travel miles. And they'll be under rocks, debris. They like to hide during the day and come out at night. Molnar says the mitten crabs arrived from Southeast Asia. They were spotted along the East Coast in 2005 and popped up in Connecticut in 2012. Yeah. Since then, and they've then grown in numbers. Yeah, like water, but right now, they're in what's called low abundance, mainly because they haven't found a preferred habitat just yet. Once they do, we could see more of them in our fresh water. And when it comes to the impact of that? We're not sure. That's the bottom line. Not sure of their effect long term. Molnar says he's not sounding the alarm, though. He says you can do your part by killing and freezing them and reporting them to deep. They warn against eating them. They have a notch between the eyes. They're brownish and green. For now, you may see more of these signs around your local waterways, at beaches and marinas. Deep pushing everyone to be aware of this crabby situation. You got to remember these crabs have been on the planet a lot longer than us, millions of years. So they've evolved for specific habitats. In Stratford, Zuri Hoffman, News 8.